Uh, I'm going to show you how and why to use portfolio bid strategies. Let's get started. Um, first, you're going to go to Tools and Settings, Shared Library, Bid Strategies. Easy enough. And then you'll see your portfolio bid strategies. And I've got a bunch of them pre-created here just in preparation for this video. But um, if you wanted to create a new portfolio bid strategy, let's say that you didn't have any, then you would click on this little plus bubble and then choose the bid strategy that is right for you. I, we have other videos that go over bid strategies in far more detail, but I'm going to just glaze over each of them because I feel like that will do this video most justice. Target CPA is target cost per acquisition. And this is where you tell Google, hey, this is how much I want to pay for a lead. This is like B2B lead generation. So, and, and I realize there may be other applications, but that's, you know, generally speaking where we see it most applied. Um, and so if you know, hey, I can pay $15,000 for a lead or $150 for a lead or $5 for a lead or whatever it is, you go tell Google your target CPA and then Google's going to try to back into that, um, that cost per acquisition. Target ROAS is uh, the same thing basically, but for e-commerce. So you're going to tell Google what your target return on ad spend um, needs to be. Like, hey, if I put in a dollar, I have to get $5 out in order to cover all my costs and, um, you know, achieve the level of profitability that I need. That's a 500% return on ad spend. Maximize clicks just says, give me all the clicks within whatever it is that you've built as far as the box that is your campaign. So if you feel really confident about, you know, this set of search terms or this geography or this audience or whatever, then you can go maximize clicks. This is dangerous. But some of our highest performing campaigns came out of maximize clicks. As a matter of fact, we had the highest performing real estate investment campaign on the planet. I can prove that with data. If you've subscribed to this channel, you've heard me say that a lot. We had it for seven years. Y'all, we beat like all the major real estate investment firms on the planet, um, which is very competitive. Uh, and towards the end, because our campaign was so tight, we were, we were using not in every instance, but in a lot of instances, maximize clicks. So don't discard this because there's a use case for it, but it is dangerous. Uh, maximize conversions gives you uh, it's like target CPA sort of in construct where instead of saying, hey, I need leads for this amount of money, you say, hey, here's my money. Give me as many leads as you can get me. Um, you know, try to be most efficient with my money, basically. This really depends on how much you trust Google. Um, and, and it's not meant to be petulant. I, there are, again, some viable reasons for this. I like using maximized conversions in some instances to identify what the feasible target cost per acquisition could or should be. So, you know, one use case among many. Um, maximized conversion value, same paradigm but applied to target ROAS. So you could use maximize conversion value to go to Google and say, hey, here's my money. Give me you know, as much conversion value as you possibly can within this you know, uh, 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 budget. Um, and then target impression share is you want to be seen. So this is you know, brand building, that type of thing. So hopefully I did all of that justice. Here's the thing about building bid strategies is it's like the simplest thing in the whole wide world. So if I wanted to build a target CPA bid strategy, I go click on target CPA. I name it whatever I want to name it. So let's say that my target CPA bid strategy here is, you know, I want to go after uh, uh, target cost per acquisition of 500 bucks. Uh, if you want to, let's say you have a bunch of campaigns already created. You can actually apply this bid strategy to those campaigns. I'm not going to do that. And then I'll say my target CPA is $500. And then here's what's weird. Advanced options. Maximum bid limit. Okay. Minimum bid limit. Why do you exist? What? How? If anybody knows, like if anybody's actually used this, please tell me. I have an, I have a, I have a, uh, I have a complete intellectual block as to what purpose this could possibly serve. Why would you go to Google and say, I want to pay more money? Like that click isn't expensive enough. I just don't see a reason. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I don't know why bid limit is there. I don't know why you would ever use this. And I really, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to be, you know, whatever. I'm not trying to make a point. If you know something I don't know about why that could be strategically viable, I would love to hear your thoughts and your ideas. Um, maximum bid limit. This is dangerous, y'all. If you're going to use, if you're going to use algorithmic bidding, this is a wrench in the gears potentially. Now I'm not telling you not to use it because you actually, you, there are reasons. There are reasons that you would, you would, you know, uh, uh, set a maximum bid, but, um, I'd be real careful, especially for newbies. This is, it's really tempting to come in there and say, okay, I don't want to get too crazy. If you've given Google a target CPA, you're going to have to let the machine learn. It. And if you put a maximum bid limit on it, you, you might find that you can get a target CPA, um, you know, $500 CPA, let's say on $200 CPCs, but you can't get it on $5 CPCs. You know what I'm saying? Because the $200 CPCs end up being like way more valuable or engaged or whatever. And it just means that you have to be at the top of the page. So be really, really, really careful with maximum bid limits. Now, 
you may know in your ecosystem, like, hey, I'm actually going to do better if I limit the bids to this based off of what we learned, you know, with manual CPC or whatever. That's fine. If you have the data, awesome. If you don't, I'd be real careful with that. Uh, the other thing that I do is I'd make sure you're really clear with nomenclature because look what happened here. I have two target CPA bid strategies. So if I'm using, you know, portfolio bid strategies and I have two, I want to make sure that I know which one is which. Um, and incidentally, some of these, like, maximize convergence, there's nothing to do. The, I name it. I select the campaigns, and then there's no other consideration for me. So, um, yeah, bid strategies are cool for a couple of reasons. Uh, they let you save a little bit of time, but I don't think it's like I don't think it's a huge consideration. the The really cool thing about it is you get to apply one bid strategy to multiple campaigns, and then all the campaigns with that same uh, portfolio bid strategy they get rolled up from a data perspective. So now, when I click on the bid strategy that I've built. I get to see every single campaign inside of this bid strategy, and I also get to see, um, what are they called? Oh, top signals, sorry. So when you're inside of uh, here, and signals, incidentally, these are, these are like uh, dimensions of analysis that have been taken away from us um, with automated bidding. So you're all of a sudden able to see things like device type, like location, um, uh, day of the week, time of the day, keywords, like things that, that weren't always as easy to slice and dice, it starts to be, bring those back into the fold. And I know a lot of that is still available, but maybe not as readily accessible as it used to be. So that's kind of cool. And you get to see it across multiple campaigns. You can see how the campaigns are performing against each other. Um, you get to modify, you know, anything that you need to modify here. Um, so there's like, it, I, it it's not, doesn't look as cool because I, I'm, this is like a test. But when you see multiple campaigns all shown inside of a, a portfolio strategy report, uh, which is what this is, then you'll start to see how it lets you, you know, kind of compare those campaigns. I also, this gets like, this gets really um, anecdotal. I have no way of proving this, but I just think that if you were to take campaign, let's say you had campaign in A and B, and you applied the same bid strategy, but it wasn't a portfolio bid strategy, uh, I, I think that Google does a better job at making an efficient comparison between those two campaigns under the umbrella of a portfolio bid strategy. Again, no way to prove that, but it kind of makes sense to me. Um, so for what that's worth. But your portfolio bid strategy gives you the opportunity to, you know, bundle multiple campaigns under one bid strategy. If you have the same bid strategy or this, you know, let's say that you, you know, like, hey, my target CPA is always going to be the same, then you might as well use this because, again, you have an, another uh, layer of dimension from analysis uh, and all that good stuff. And then you can have multiple bid strategies, too, depending on how it is that you plan on going to market. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Oh, let's say you actually wanted to apply this to a campaign. So I'm in my campaigns and I want to add a portfolio bid strategy to this campaign. Um, here's what's really interesting. Come on, Google. Uh, if I wanted to apply it here, I need to change bid strategy, but you'll notice that it's not like there's nothing that says select a portfolio bid strategy. So I'd have to come over here, select a bid strategy directly, not recommended. I love Google's not recommended. It's like, we don't recommend that you do the things that might be to your benefit. Um, and then once I've selected that, now it says use a portfolio bid strategy. Here's what's interesting. Watch what happens when I click this button. There's no, oh wait, well that's not true. Ah, sorry, I had a mighty reveal for you. Um, that was before I built all those dummy portfolio bid strategies. If I didn't have a maximized clicks portfolio bid strategy, there wouldn't be a portfolio bid strategy here. So I built with the video with you just now, we built a target CPA bid strategy. You'll notice that that target CPA bid strategy is not accessible to me. It's because I have maximized clicks enabled. So I have to go to target CPA and then use a portfolio strategy, and now if I say use existing portfolio strategy, I can choose the target CPA portfolio strategy that I want to use. Uh, or I can create a new portfolio strategy, which is kind of cool, which would add it to my portfolio strategies, obviously. So um, I'm trying to think about what else you need to know. I think that's it. It's kind of a cool little, you know, uh, additional item, especially if you have multiple campaigns running across different um, different categories. So let's say you're segmenting by like location, audience, match types, um, budgets, like whatever, and you wanna see how those are performing. This portfolio bid strategy lets you put like this nice clean um, umbrella on top of it and then analyze it from a bid strategy perspective. So absolutely worth doing, worth playing with, worth testing. And I hope that's helpful. We shoot a video every day, which is daunting by the way. Like. Um, but it also, it's making me so much better because I'm just like, gosh, I've got to do really deep dives because I need to learn more stuff to teach more stuff. So, um, that's been really cool. Uh, if there's more that you want to learn that we haven't touched on, please hit us in the comments, uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. Um, I think we're at 2,400 subscribers, which is really cool. 
by the way. I'm really excited about it. So I uh, appreciate all y'all that have been so engaged, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.